everybody, I am in Venice Beach. I am with Otis College Design School. They asked me to speak and I said, well, since I'm in Venice, let's go hand out socks. So today we're gonna go out and hand out socks to new homeless friends. And if you don't feel comfortable, please, there's no pressure to do anything you don't feel comfortable. Um, it's always safety first. So, I mean, we're with a group of people, it'll be fine. Uh, when you're dealing with mental illness and drug addiction, the normal rules don't apply. Today is Friday, and in Venice Beach, they get rolled up every Friday morning by LAPD. So LAPD and sanitation comes through and makes them move every Friday morning. And that could be a little bit interesting. So we don't know, you know, hey bro, you need some socks? Yeah. Coming up. <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Gonzo. Daddy. Good morning, Gonzo. Good morning. What's up? What's going on? So we're, um, these are a bunch of new friends making new friends. <laughs> what socks, man? So you just made a new friend right there. Yeah? It's the easiest way to my heart. Right yeah, socks? <laughs> cool. So that was not planned, but it couldn't have been any more perfect. Because it's really that simple, you know? Um, the interesting thing for me is Homeless people, I mean, you have that chronic homeless person that we all have that image in our head, but there are homeless people, the majority of homeless people, you would not even know they're homeless. Um, those are harder to find. Sometimes they're mixed in. There's also something very interesting, and, and I forgot your name? Joel. Joel. We were talking about this earlier, is the Venice Beach culture kind of becomes a vortex. So there's a nomadic, Jim Morrison, uh, hippie, gypsy, uh, Grateful Dead, Grateful Dead um, uh, you know, culture, nomadic culture that is Venice. You know, those people are, I don't consider homeless. They're making a choice and they have a bank account someplace where they can go rent, you know, an apartment. Then there's homeless people who have tried to get out of homelessness, but for whatever reason, we don't make it easy for people to get out of homelessness. So the brain has to do one of two things. The brain has to say, oh my gosh, society hates me, I'm a piece of crap, or I wanna be homeless. I like it here, and they adapt. And that is what, it's called learned helplessness, and that is what happens to a lot of homeless people in Venice. They come here, they first try to get out of homelessness, or maybe, you know, and then the, the, the culture becomes kind of a lifestyle. I believe we need to get people out of that situation before they get used to homelessness. Nobody, nobody should be used to homelessness. I walk up and just like, hey man, you need some socks? Here's some socks. Now, I try to normally give two pairs of socks, but here there's so many homeless people that I don't have enough socks to give everybody two pairs of socks. So I usually give one pair of socks. And then I find something like, hey man, that's a cool hoodie. I really like that hoodie, you know? And I find something to talk to them about that they're wearing or maybe doing that kind of creates this common bond. You know what I mean? Um, man, I really like your hat. Wow, that's a cool necklace or, or whatever. It is. Sometimes I might not even like something. <laughs> I'm just trying to engage in a conversation to make it equal. Now, if somebody's in a really bad mood, you know, I mean, gosh, you've gone to school and been had friends that are just in bad moods, right? Well, can you imagine you're living outside here? It's amazing that people stay positive at all. You know what I mean? So if somebody's a little grumpy, and again, if you feel safe, if you go to hand out socks and go, hey, thanks, bro. See you later. You know what I mean? 
or, you know, but most people, like you just saw, they love socks. Socks are like gold out here. You know, well, underwear is the most important, but underwear, for obvious reasons, but underwear, uh, people are in a lot of different sizes. Tell me about you guys. So tell me about the class. What do you guys do? Um, so we're in the creative action class, and our focus this semester has been on home, and what home means to each one of us, what home means to the people in our neighborhood. Um, we've been going out and meeting different um, people in our neighborhood, where there's a senior center across the street, there's a grade school that's down the, a few blocks away that we've gone to and um, hung out and done some interactions with the third graders. And um, it, they drew pictures of the, what, what home means to them. And we've exchanged you know, different things. And um, it's been a really good learning experience cool. so far. Hey, there's, um, there's two men that are, are two groups of people parked outside of um, our parking structure in RVs. And they've been living there um, for a while. And we got the chance to meet um, one of them named Bob. Um, Bob was actually really nice and came and talked to us, told us all about his life. And um, home was a really unique thing to him. And it was very interesting to get his side of the story and uh, helped bridge a gap between uh, what our idea of who he was was and who he actually was. And, um, and yeah, he was a completely normal guy that was just trying to live his life and um, I think it washed away all the misconceptions that people had about him that he was just this guy in an RV. So, yeah. yeah. What's home mean to you? <laughs> I guess home to me would be um, I guess a community and like who you keep around so I feel like home doesn't necessarily have to be a house it's like whatever you feel most comfortable. Yeah. Home means um, the place that I feel the most at. So yeah. it could be like family or friends. Like I'm over here in LA, but back home is actually Las Vegas to me. Yeah. That's where my family and friends are. Um, I feel like home is kind of more of a feeling thing because like I traveled a lot back when I was younger. So it's like, it's just wherever I feel like at peace, at ease kind of thing. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be like at a house or at a, you know, it's like yeah. just being around an aura of just nice, like feeling good and comfortable. No. Yeah, like these guys trying to avoid the camera over here. I'm coming your way. Uh, home. Uh, I guess home is just where you belong. Home. <laughs> can you not like get it so close? Yeah. Home is where I can do my work and feel comfortable, go to sleep. For me, home is somewhere where I feel accepted and somewhere that I feel safe in after being out and doing stuff. Yeah, I feel that home is more of like a feeling. It's kind of like a security blanket in a way. Like it's something that you personally relate to. There are certain aspects of life and it's like you find your niche and that's what your home is. Home is an intimate architectural space and I feel that home, when you're home you feel like being yourself. Yeah. Uh, home is where we chill and where we finally be alone. Yeah, home is where I could sleep and eat and stay in my pajamas and yeah. go to sleep. Yeah, great. You guys want to go in a group and then have an advanced group? Do you want to break out in teams? How do you want to do this? Maybe we could try to start off with the advanced group. <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. Out. Cool. is talking to the students, uh, telling them about homelessness. Um, can you see the uh, spider on the top of this tent? You know, people making the best of homelessness. So how'd you get on a conversation about clam chowder? Hey, because we, were talking we about can this. do it out here if we feel free. If yeah? If you're free enough, you can do anything. Great Very yes, Good line. If you're free good. enough, you can do anything. We can talk about anything we want. Yeah. And clam chowder is important. Well, yeah. Kenneth, this is the rest of the class, or hey, some of it. Good to see Thank you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's hard for me to hold the tears. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, it's 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 good to cry. You know, because that's one experience that sometimes 
you don't want nobody to see. <laughs> so, you know, when they do get to see it, they say, wow, you know. One of the few times I saw that. You know, it's, it's, it's beautiful. And I always look at stuff and I say, in everything that happens, there's a positive and negative in it. The other, the other two, you know, when you're in an argument and you want to win, you, <laughs> you tilt everything your way and that person tilts everything their way. You know, so it, it, sometimes you sometimes you got to look on that side to say. So what do you wait. suggest when you're in an argument for, with somebody and you don't agree? Like I really need some help with that. Like, like well, <laughs> well, you want to you want in your own mind to say, okay, that's my side, and I just told it pretty well with very elegant words, <laughs> and this person just told me his side, and they, they probably weren't as educated. So, so let me think about their side from my education. And, and, and that's, that's see the other reasonable. That's being more reasonable. See the lens through their view, right. the world through their lens. Right, right, yeah. And it's, it's, just, it's just being reasonable with people saying, okay, let me you see how you see it. Birthday. Happy birthday, Houston. Yay! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Should we sing them happy birthday? Yeah, I think so. Can we sing you happy birthday? Yes. Yeah. Ready? Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Houston. Happy birthday to you. A couple of their homeless people saw that uh, we're handing out socks. It's Houston's birthday today. We sing him happy birthday. And uh, uh, Professor has gift cards for food, uh, learning about homelessness, and handing out Hanes socks. College students armed with Hanes socks. I think we could just walk together. That just worked, right? Whoever wants to go up and hand out socks. Socks are like gold. Sometimes, yeah. And these guys are putting their socks on right away. Right away. Socks are like gold. I've never done this before with this large of a group. Uh, we first broke up in the small teams, but uh, homeless people are just enjoying the attention. They just love being able to tell their stories. I mean, if you respect people and you just, you know, give people your positive attention, it makes a world of difference. It's so empowering. I escorted the students first couple of interactions with homeless people but now they're all going out armed with Hanes socks um, Hanes socks it's sock time <laughs> What did you think? I thought it was really great that you had us like go out here and, and do this because like we just don't have the chance to, to go meet everyone at Venice. <laughs> yeah. And and well, what did you think about the few homeless people that we met? Everyone is very thankful and, and nice. Everyone's willing to talk and they just want to be heard. So what did you think about uh, socks? I mean, uh, how they reacted to socks? I think that just the littlest things like really can make someone stay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So what'd you think? Um, I think it was nice going out and showing them that we care and doing something meaningful for them. Yeah. It's amazing how socks can brighten somebody's day. Yeah, it's uh, amazing how they get cheered up by simple things that we do for them. Like showing that we care for them. We saw probably a dozen uh, people that were living out, out here on the streets, and I think every single person we talked to just lit up by something as simple as a pair of socks. They were so happy to one have someone from the community that cares about them, 
and two, like have someone to talk to and share their stories with. And there's just little simple things that can be done and it makes a huge difference in these people's yeah. lives. Yeah. It was good, it was really intense. Um, what did you a learn? To be present. Yeah. Period, over and out. Yeah. To be present, period, yes. over and out. Yeah. It's amazing how people just light up when you give them their positive attention. Absolutely, and our students are lit up too. Yeah. What a fun morning, handing out socks, meeting new homeless friends, hanging with college students. I really believe today's youth, tomorrow's leaders, are our best hope for ending homelessness. Thank you, thank you for watching this vlog. Click like, please subscribe, and we need your support on Patreon. There's a link below. Help us be able to tell more of these stories. Thank you.